There's probably a higher density of systems thinkers in this room than any other room in the NHS at any moment in time. We don't need more money. We need to use the money that we're already spending in healthcare way more effectively than we do now. Having the systems that do speak to each other, but really focus it on what the patient needs. Welcome to Olympia, where the BCS, the Chartered Institute for IT, is playing an active part of eHealth Week 2017, culminating in tonight's IT Impact event, where we're asking how IT can help to transform a national healthcare system under intense pressure, while still delivering on person-centred care. We're here to make IT good for society, to inspire these people to go out and make a difference. Hello people on Facebook Live, people on YouTube Live as well, you are very welcome here. Today we're talking about how we can transform health and care for everyone. Joining us tonight are Matthew Swindell, talking about culture and leadership in person-centred care. I need to get us to 100% e-booking. I need to get GPs, hospitals, community services, mental health, linking their data. I need to get to a point where the data we gather is accurate and a true representation flowing around the system, following the patient, supporting them in their care. If we don't do it, there isn't another way for it to happen. Simon Wardley, a master of mapping, talking about situational awareness. Thrash is a cycle. It's really important to act, but it's also really important to observe the landscape. We're also engaging in a fireside chat with two healthcare professionals in the front line, Erin Bolton and Danie Bell. As healthcare professionals, we often switch it to our own agenda. We decide what we think is the best thing for that patient and not necessarily what they're looking for. I think we need to accept the fact that the data belongs to the patient. It's not our data, it's their data, it's their life. They need to be controlling it. Try to work in an agile way rather than looking at separate systems, separate projects. Evenings like this is, is great. And you, you see people from all different uh, parts of the NHS are working out how to actually work together and collaborate together. So that, that's always fantastic. We're in kind of step change mode now. It feels like we've genuinely thrown off the past and the whole agenda today has been very future looking. It's the passion, it's the next generation delivering good quality patient care but harnessing technology to use that. And the outcome that we're looking for is a group of people who are going to start the professional movement that helps health and care really work for us. Using the best of digital, shared values, shared goals, a better NHS for all of us.